How's it going everybody? I'm Jeff Slakey and this time I'm in the community in Hoodsport with Alex Pacey from Mason County Public Health Community Services. We're going to be talking about this stretch of Tideland that's opened up for the first time in 45 years for folks next spring. If the levels look good, people are going to be out at two public uh, recreational facilities here, the Port of Hoodsport and at the Hatchery. There's a lot of private uh, ownership along here too and it's been a lot of work. How you doing Alex? I'm doing good. Thanks for being here with us. This is exciting. It is exciting. Yeah, we're we're happy about it. So 45 years is a long time. Let's walk a little bit as we talk about this. You guys have worked hard with the Skokomish tribe and Skokomish uh, the tribes over the years and understanding where there's been some issues and this has been closed to shellfish harvesting for, for like I said 45 years. So what were some of the first steps that you had to do to identify the issues and then get the partners involved to get this cleaned up? Well, I think Hoodsport's been a, you know, it's been a closed area for a long time, like you said. And, you know, it's been an area that uh, many of our, our partners in the county have been aware of that we know we needed to work on. And, you know, a lot of times when it comes to water quality and our, our, our need and ability to get out and address those needs is, has to do with funding. And, yeah. You know, these last few years, I think part of what's driven this success is um, a reliable, you know, consistent amount of funding that's gone towards the project. Talk to me a little bit about your partnership with the Skokomish tribe. Yeah, that's been um, really important and, and really just, you know, our partnership with uh, what we call the regional PIC program. So PIC is pollution identification and correction. And uh, the Hood Canal Coordinating Council has, you know, formed a regional effort towards addressing these pollution problems in the canal and um, this Kokomish tribe you know and then Mason County Public Health us you know we work together um, as part of that group to, in addressing these issues around the canal. I was reading Hoodsport being one of them. I was reading some of the things and it sounded like you were able to identify about eight sources of pollution coming into this area and you've been able to identify those and get those cleaned up? Yeah, so, um, you know, non-point sources of pollution is what we typically look for, you know, in addressing these issues. And, and that can be a variety of things, you know, wildlife, um, pet waste, uh, septic systems, stormwater issues. Um, it can be a number of things, but um, in this instance, we ended up identifying um, eight shelf, uh, septic system failures that um, were in need of repair or some sort of remediation. And, uh, you know, we addressed those. How does that, something like that get identified? So um, our staff goes out on the beach um, in coordination with the tribe staff as well. And, and we locate and we take samples and locate hotspots okay. is what we call them. Um, so hotspots is, you know, a, a sample location where it's high for fecal coliform, you know, above our threshold levels for the state. And, and then we work on identifying what could be the possible sources of those hotspots. And we um, you know, do further tracing upstream and up the drainages to identify you know, what those sources are. A lot of times, you know, these, you know, we don't always have the smoking gun. You know, it's mm -hmm. not always a pipe right in front of a house or a business that we can easily say that's the culprit. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of times it's a collection of cleanup efforts from multiple par properties that end up with these improved water quality conditions. This is just such a beautiful area of the state and obviously of Mason County here. It is shellfish, a huge industry. What will this do opening this up to help, you know, kind of make Mason County, put Mason County again on the map as this is an area for folks to come? Yeah, I mean, Mason County is, is, I forget what it was, it was, you know, we're in the top five or something of um, the state as far as shellfish harvest area and, and clean water. So in general, we have very clean water in Mason County and we want to keep it that way. Um, so it's good just to get, you know, good recognition from openings like this. Um, I think, you know, a lot of the success was a regional, you know, partner multi-agency involvement, which is, which is a great success story. Um, and, th and this, you know, has gotten, you know, statewide recognition, yeah. which is, which is good. So we're thinking that next spring, uh, you guys along with the state and the tribes will come back out and do another last test and, and then it could be open for folks or are we ready to go in the spring? Well, the Department of Health has opened this area okay. and said that it's safe for shellfish harvesting. 
Now the other aspect of this is Department of Fish and Wildlife has to come in and make sure that the quantity is there uh. and you know make sure that they you know so they have restrictions in place right now still. Um, now there's private you know harvesting that occurs and then public harvesting and and so the uh, yeah there's there's other partners at play here but the state department of health has you know determined that this area is safe which is the first step towards that people have been out shrimping already this season and i think from the folks that i've talked to they've done pretty well for themselves have you heard that too um i haven't heard anything specifically no but yeah well, I imagine. Again, it's a beautiful place. And what more can just the regular average citizen who may, not, may live near the water, but then may not live near the water at all, what can they do to help make sure that the waterways are safe and clean for future generations? Yeah, sure. So, you know, this has been a project, you know, this started in 2014, 2015, you know, this work. And it's, it's taken, you know, I think the PIC project in general was around $1.4 million and, and multiple years of work. So. You know, we obviously want to keep it that way. So, you know, some of the things homeowners and businesses can do is, you know, keep their septic systems up to date with maintenance, have them inspected regularly. Um, you know, in short, when we can catch these problems early, they're not just saving themselves expense for future failures, but, um, you know, we're improving and, and helping water quality too. So, you know, inspecting their systems regularly, picking up their pet waste, disposing of properly, um, you know, ensuring that they aren't, um, using any harsh fertilizers or you know just being conscious of what's running off their property and into the down gradient drainages and waters. Well I know that people use these waterways here uh, as the summer gets ready and these slips here at the Port of Hood Sport are going to start filling up and all up and down the canal here people are going to be out enjoying themselves and it's just a great opportunity another feather in the cap for Mason County a big beautiful how many miles was it here? Uh, it's 66 acres 66 of shoreline, acres. yeah, That's it's amazing. measured in acres. Wow, that is amazing. Open for the first time in 45 years, and hopefully uh, Fish and Wildlife will come out here. They'll say the numbers are good, and, and people will be able to do this uh, coming up in the spring. Alex Pacey, again, from Mason County Public Health and Community Services. Thanks for being out here. This is really fun being in the community at the Port of Hoodsport. Yeah, it's great. Appreciate the opportunity, Jeff.